Okay guys, we're going to use uh, the MyTrax app to get some data into QGIS. Uh, I'm just going to use my old Android phone here. Switch over to the app, MyTrax. Uh, I've got a list of the, you know, the tracks that I've already recorded. So I'm going to grab this one, just preview it, and then go to the options menu. And instead of going to share via Google Maps or send to Google, I'm going to do save to external storage because that gives me the option of a GPX file. The GPX file is going to contain everything, uh, points, lines, everything. Uh, so instead of hitting OK, I'm going to go to share track file. And I'm going to send that to my Google Drive. It just asked, it just asked for approval. And then that is underway. So instead of switching back to my usual screencast software, I am going to bring this shaky camera over to the computer. And check out my Google Drive. And you can see there it is. Got one file. No preview because it's a GPX, but I'm going to download it. Just going to put it in the class file I've been keeping. Call that South End. Oh, and actually it looks like it needed an extension, so I'll go back in and call it southend.gpx. Cool. So, now that is all set, I'm going to pop open Quantum GIS, and then add the GPX file. You can see uh, you have to set it so that it's looking for either all files or GPX files specifically. There's the south end file. I'm going to hit add and open. And you can see, as it does with other GPX files, it gives you uh, five different layers to choose from here. All of these were collected while I was recording that, that particular route. Um, track points is going to be breadcrumbs. This is basically a point dropped at every, I don't know, it might have been like every five seconds or so as I was recording. Uh, but the item that I'm interested in here is the line string. These are called the routes. So I'll hit OK. Oh, all right, well, that actually is not what I'm interested in. i go back and try this one instead. Get the options again. I'll go with tracks, the multi-line string. And one of these is eventually going to work. There it is. Um, so... To recap, once you've got your GPX file into Google Drive, or you can send it by email too, there are a bunch of ways of sharing it, uh, add the GPX file, choose the tracks, this uh, layer ID should be number two if you're using the MyTracks app in particular, um, and add it. and your track will be available here. Uh, it's currently a GPX, so as with the other um, as with the other applications that you've used this sort of thing on, uh, importing a CSV, using a KML file, you should still save this as a shapefile so that you have something to work with later on, and you don't have to keep re-adding the GPX layer. But uh, this should get you where you're going.